which is uh, given by Department of Science and Technology as the best innovation technology hub also. And I was told that T-Hub is not only for that, T-Hub is also helping uh, different states, including the Bihar state, for creating their innovation hub by exactly following what all we have done in T-Hub, they are going to come up with a hub in their state by naming it as B-Hub again, the way we have named it as T-Hub. I was also told that the government of Maldives also is partnering with us. They are taking the technical know-how from us in getting their uh, system developed in Maldives. We are really proud of the uh, people who are getting involved in all these things. And the latest achievement I was told, uh, which uh, Mr. Jay Sengen was addressing about was T-Works. I was just told that it's one of the largest, I was also told it is the world's largest prototyping uh, center, the T-Works. Uh, which has the state of art tools and technology to create, to design, to form different shapes and... Uh... They're just keeping the brain's best guesses tied to the world in ways that are useful. So, instead of saying what we're kind of used to saying, which is that I'll believe it when I see it, now on this view, we should probably say that I'll see it when I believe it, or I'll see it when my brain believes it. And in fact, this, this idea can give us a handle on some of the more unusual forms of perception that are out there. I think you've probably all looked at the sky on a cloudy day and maybe seen faces in clouds. Again, faces. Faces are very important. We see faces in clouds. We can see faces in the sides of buildings. Our brains project faces, faces into everything and sees where it grips. So we kind of hallucinate faces all the time. And in a recent project, um, it's a few years ago now, my university in Sussex in England, we wanted to try and understand and try to model what it would be like if the brain had really strong predictions to see particular things.